I like statues because they can't hurt me. They have no articulation. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends figure review on the Hasbro Infinite Series Target exclusive Avengers 3-pack with Ultron, Hulk, and the Vision. Big thanks to Chew for this awesome birthday gift, man. He hooked it up with this along with the retail version of the First Order Stormtrooper. Very, very, very happy. Thank you so much, man. And I'm excited about these figures over here, even though they're all repaints except for these two head sculpts and these newly sculpted feet. So I'm going to review all three of these in one video. Looking on the side of the packaging over here, you can see all three characters. We get Vision, Ultron, and the Hulk. And then on the back, you can see all three figures. And there's a read up on Ultron. If you want to read it, pause it now. There's a read up on the Hulk. If you want to read it, pause it now. And then there's a read up on Vision. Read it, pause it now. And then on the other side, we get the same image again. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's all three figures out of the packaging. Gotta say, I really like this box set. I think it's very cool. One of my favorite Ultron figures, definitely my favorite Marvel Legends Ultron right over here. I really like the first appearance Vision. I always like like that first appearance vision look. I thought it was cool. This Hulk figure, surprisingly, I really like a lot. It is the same thing as the Avengers Age of Ultron Hulk figure with just a new head sculpt. He even has the Avengers pants still, and still a really good piece. So we get three new head sculpts with these, and all the same body molds that we'd seen before. Ultimate Beetle, Bucky Cap mold, and then of course, as I mentioned, we'd gotten this reused a few times right here for that Hulk. So let's take a closer look at these new head sculpts. Except for this head sculpt right here, which is reused from the same Hulkbuster vision figure that we'd gotten just earlier this year from Hasbro. You can see that there's a bunch of cracks in the plastic right there that are very visible. So I had to go through a bunch of these. Luckily, Chu picked up a few and I was able to run through them and pick my favorite one. And you can see the paint apps are really good on this. I really like how we get this nice fade right there. You get that oversprayed white over this yellowish clear plastic. I think that looks cool. Well, I will complain about the left eye though. That does look like it's a little off mark, but it's not terrible enough to you know make me feel bad about it. I like this one still. I think the solar came out looking really good right there so that's not too shabby and looking right over here on the side you could see we get some more of that sprayed look right there on the head and then that theme kind of goes throughout the entire figure over here you do get a little bit more white on the chest section right there and you can see the black lines you know it's just right there and right here so those are the only parts where we get the black paint and you can see that the white paint kind of disappears a little bit when you pull him backwards like that and then looking at the arms, they look pretty good. So I like the frosty look. You know, it's not too bad. Uh, I think the plastic is a lot more stable than the plastic we'd gotten from Iceman. So I hopefully they do make a new Iceman figure using this technique. You can see the fists over here have a little bit more of a yellowish color to them though than the rest of the figure. And then looking right here, it's just back Bucky Cap stuff until we get to these brand new patas. Yeah, vision toes. Ooh, yeah, look at those vision toes. So this is like, a, you know, letting us know that we're going to get a Namor figure. Unfortunately, though, it does not have peg holes at the bottom of the feet. That's disappointing. I wish he had peg holes right there. Now looking at the back of the figure, you can see he has the same cape that we had gotten. From, well, my little Black Series backdrop is failing me right here. So, But anyway, yeah, looking at this right here, it's the same thing as a Grim Reaper cape. And it has the same frosty effect. You can see it a little bit better if I darken things up, you know, so it gets very clear towards the bottom. Then here's looking at the back of the figure, and they're more or less consistent with the paint, you know. It's still white and everything. It's just not as much paint. Well, you can clearly see that there's all this striped white right there on the front, and then none of that on the back. So, yeah. Typically, they do avoid putting paint on the back of the figure if they don't really feel like they have to. Now, we do get a brand new head sculpt for the Hulk over here. Marvel Now's Hulk with his slicked back hair. And I think this is a really good head sculpt. I like it a lot. Screaming Hulk. Can't go wrong with that, you know? Uh, the only thing is that I wish they had sculpted a tongue or something in there. It does look kind of weird with that dark green piece just in between his teeth. But other than that, I think it looks really good. The paint came out pretty solid, you know? Looks like a really good sculpt to me. I'm liking it. I really like the added green right there over the black for his hair. I think that looks pretty good. Around right over here, same thing. So, yeah, not looking too shabby. And the color choice of the green looks really good on this. Now, when you get this different plastic right here, this is the harder plastic, and then this is the softer plastic. It always comes out looking just a little bit different from each other on all of these hulks, but, you know, this one looks okay. It doesn't look too shabby at all, you know. And then we get the same fisted hands right over there, and as I had mentioned earlier, we do get the same Avengers pants. Of course, you can't see the Avengers logo on them. That's That was just deco, but this is looking pretty solid, you know. You get this maroonish purple color for it. 
looks all right. And you get the Bill Hulk feet, looking pretty good. So no shadowing or anything like that on the figure. I wish they had something like that going on. That would have been pretty cool. We do get some paint splotching right there, but it's pretty minor. Now this is my favorite Ultron head sculpt that I've ever seen for a Marvel Legends Ultron, but it still has some problems with it. I really have to commend Hasbro on the color choice for the metal on this. This is spectacular. I absolutely love it. I hope they use this color a lot in the future. It's so cool because it has this gunmetal color to it, but then when you shine a lot of light on it, it just looks like it's made out of chrome. You know, like when I get my lamp right up in there, it looks like it's chrome. And I just really love the variation right here that you get with that. Very fun to shoot and take pictures of. I really dig it a lot. Now, as far as my complaints go, uh, first off, you can see that this little antennae piece is, you know, shifted inwards to his mouth a little bit too much. That just takes some heat. You know, I'll apply some hot water to it and then let it cool down in place. So that's not a big problem. Uh, but the problem is, like I had mentioned earlier, Jude, let me go through a bunch of these, is that you had one or two issues with these head sculpts. One, you either get this weird white mark right there in the plastic, and two, you'll either get uh, a little white going around the eyes on this. So it was either that, you know, take the little chip right over there or have extra white going around the eyes. And you could kind of see a little bit of the white around the eyes on this one, but it's very subtle. It was a lot more prominent on some of the other ones that I was looking at. So you get one of those two issues going on. I chose the little chip on the tooth thing. And I really like that they have that Kirby effect right there. You know, the Kirby energy effect inside his mouth. That's the first time we've actually seen that on an Ultron figure. I'm very happy to see that. I'm very pleased with this. I like the sculpted detail right here too. And get those little notches going around the top of his head. So yeah, this is really good. I'm liking it a lot. Now the rest of the figure is just the ultimate beetle figure, but they do have that metallic look going throughout all of the figure and I really dig it. And we get these orbs right over here, which, you know, they're, they're, you take it or leave it, you know what I mean? And I think it's all right. You know, it doesn't bother me. I think it works with the character. And I just really like the sculpt for this too. God, I really like you see all the sparkles right there. This plastic, I think it's a plastic choice that they used for this more so than a paint choice because you can kind of see a little bit of, oh, there's not even real any marbling or anything like that with this too. Very impressive work here. I'm digging it. You can kind of see the marbling right there in the fist. Yeah, so can't say it's not there at all, but really good job. I like how you get these little orange pieces right there in some of these orbs. Not all of them have that, you know, but looking at the legs right over there, looks pretty good. And we get those Ultron toes. I don't think his feet are supposed to be like this. I think they're like regular type boots, but oh well. I think the body mold choice for an Ultron using the Ultimate Beetle is a really good one, you know. And then because they use mostly the plastic with this gunmetal look, you don't get any of that sparseness or anything. Oh, never mind. Nope, they didn't paint the orbs right here on the back. Shoot, didn't notice that earlier. So, okay, they did run cheap with the paint a little bit on this one too. Damn it, Hydro! So to measure these figures out, you can see the Hulk is standing a little over eight inches, and Ultron and Vision are both standing at about six and a half inches tall. Then here's our new Vision figure compared to our previously released Hulkbuster Wave Vision, and you can see this has the open hand this has two fists right over here. If you want to see the articulation on this guy, go ahead and click the card right over there. And then this is my customized Nemesis Wave Vision. I had painted this guy all white to be a first appearance vision. As you can see, I added the blue shadowing effect, which I always like. Uh, didn't come out so well on my custom, but I wish Hasbro would have used some blue paint on this. That would have been pretty cool. And then here's our new Hulk figure compared to the Age of Ultron Hulk. And as I had mentioned earlier, they have the same pants, same body molds and everything, but brand new head sculpts. I really like this green color choice. I think that looks very good. And then here's our Marvel now Hulk compared to the face-off Hulk from Toy Biz and you can see this guy's standing just a little bit taller than the face-off Hulk even though I still think this one's the bulkier and better Hulk figure. Then here's Ultron compared to the Ultimate Beetle figure. If you want to see the articulation for this guy go ahead and click the card thingy right over there and you can see that the sculpts are the same aside from the head sculpts. The wings are just add-ons and then the forearms are actually different on these. Hey five Ultrons check that out. Yeah we got a total of five Ultrons that work for the six inch scale. So this is the Toy Biz one right over here which I had clipped the wings. This one came out from an Iron Man wave. There's a Build a figure movie Ultron and then the Marvel Select Ultron over there. Out of the five of these, I think this is my favorite one still. And yes, we already had an Ultron party. And then here's all three figures next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider Man. Uh oh, bad guy over there. Come on, Avengers! Uh, where's he going? No. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. So I'm really 
really stoked about this set. I really like it a lot. I'm actually enjoying the Hulk figure a lot more than I thought I would. I really like the Ultron figure, even though he does seem really short compared to the other Ultrons. And I'm very happy to finally get a first appearance vision over here. That's how I remember playing him. I was first introduced to the character playing the video game way back in the day, so I'm very happy to have that. Don't know exactly how I'm going to fit these guys on the shelves, but I'll figure it out. And I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes right over here for more shart in your face. Check out the Patreon account. Your guys' help is much appreciated. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And check out MarvelousNews.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. <laughs>